hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the reconciliation widget in Odoo version 14 so we all know that by default in Odoo 14 we don't have the option to reconcile that is the reconciliation widget has been moved to enterprise edition so it will be tough for uh, the community users to do reconciliation in the community version so the OCA is comes up with a solution so if I go to the OCA shop you have a module called account reconciliation widget for version 14 so what you have to do is that in order to do reconciliation in all version 14 simply you can download the module from Odoo community shop so you can just download it from here and you can add it to your Odoo instance and you will get the functionality of reconciliation in your community edition so for thanks for OCA to bring back this feature for the community users so what I have done is I have already downloaded this module and I have added it in my database so if I go to the apps menu and if I search for reconciliation and if I remove the apps filter you can see I have already installed the module in my database and if I click on module info you can see its details so let's see how the reconciliation widget or how this module works in Odoo 14 community edition so along with this module I have installed our accounting module that is Odoo 14 accounting so what I have done is I have downloaded this module also that is Odoo 14 accounting that brings asset management, budget and financial reports in my database. So if I go to the accounting menu you can see you have dashboard, you have these things, you have financial reports, budgets and assets in your database. So first of all this reconciliation widget is compatible with Odoo Mates accounting module. So let's see how the reconciliation widget works. So first of all what I'll do is that I'll go to the invoice and I'll create an invoice for a customer. So I'll create a customer called Odoo Mates. I'll create and edit and I'll add a couple of products in the invoice line. So let me choose pedal bin and I'll remove the tax line and I'll give the amount as 1000 USD and I'll click on save so I have created a draft invoice for the customer Odoo Mates for 1000 USD now I'll click on confirm so the invoice get posted so instead of making payment from here what I'll do is that I'll go to the payments menu and I'll receive the amount from the Odoo Mates so receive money from customer then I have to choose the customer that is Odoo Mates and what I'll do I'll be entering the amount so I'll choose the amount as 1000 itself so I'll take a case where full amount is paid so 1000 is entered I'll click on save and I'll click on confirm so the payment is posted now if I come back to the invoice and here we have the Odoo mates still it's in posted and you can see you, you can see the option of outstanding credits here so I'm not going to add it from here so instead I'll go to the accounting and I'll go to journal items and let me search for the Odoo mates search partner Odoo mates you have the entries here so the customer invoice and outstanding receipts so I'll choose these choose our account receivable and if I click on reconcile so select the entries from here and click on reconcile you will be redirected to the reconciliation widget and simply you can see the entries are selected and if you click on reconcile it get reconciled now if you come back to invoice and if you open this you can see it gets paid that is reconciliation has been succeeded and it's marked as paid and if you check the due amount you can see the due amount is zero so that is the invoice is reconciled with the payment that we have received so that's done how it works with the invoice now we will see about how it works with the bank statements so let me create one more invoice 
so let me create one more invoice for Oru Meets itself Oru Meets and let me choose some products so I'll choose pedal bin itself and in this case I'll enter the amount as 1500 1500 save confirm so I'll receive the payment from here itself so I'll click on register payment and for the bank statement I'll use journal bank and in memo I'll, I'll enter like Odoo just I'll in the memo I'll keep Odoo and I'll create the payment so you can see the invoice is posted and its payment is received and amount due is zero now let's create a bank statement for Odoo mates so I'll go to the accounting dashboard and here you have the corresponding journal and uh, using this create button I'll click and create a journal entry so I'll name it as Odoo journal bank and here I'll enter the transaction Odoo so I'll choose the partner as Odoo mates and our invoice was for 1500 so I'll just instead of entering full amount I'll enter 1450 and you can see the computed balance is 13 144 that is 13,144.87 so I'll en enter the computed balance in the ending balance and I'll click on save so what we have done is we have created a bank statement manually for the partner Odoo mates and entered a partial amount not full amount so you remember we have made an invoice for 1500 but we have created the bank statement for 1450 so now let's click on post so once you click on post you will have the reconcile button here in the bank statement so you can click on reconcile and you can see Odoo and corresponding entry get automatically selected now there is a mismatch of 50 so that 50 might be you can record it as loss or bank charge anything you can choose so I'll choose the counter account so let me check whether there is an account called bank charge yeah you can use bank fees minus 50 it has been selected now you can simply click on validate button so if I click on validate button you can see congrats you are all done the reconcile is done now you can two option go to bank statement or close the statement I'll go to bank statement and you can see the entries here so if I come back here and if I click on journal entries and if I open you can see three journal items has been uh, created that is 1450 level Odoo then bank fees of 50 and 1500 so this is how you can do the reconciliation in Odoo version 14 simply what you have to do is that just go to the OCA shop oduocommunity.org slash shop and just search for account reconciliation widget and then you can download it so don't worry we will be adding this link right away in the video description so that you can click and open and download so once you download the module just add it to your custom add-ons path and install in your database so you can see the module is compatible with the Odoo Mates Odoo 14 accounting so you can install and use along with our module and it is simple and compatible so that's it for the video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to comment it out or reach us over the email the email is odomates at gmail.com and also you can connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook and twitter so that's it have a nice day thank you